What did I click? It's already Let us unite our hearts in prayer. Eternal God, our Father, the maker of heaven and earth, it is in the backdrop of this peaceful setting where fallen heroes and heroines have served their country with distinction that we come to ask a special blessing upon this family as they travel through their own individual grief process, trying to make sense out of this thing we call death. May your divine presence meet them in this their time of need, as you, God, provide the healing balm of Gilead which will be their comforter and their sustainer in the days to come. These blessings we ask in your name. Amen. I'm going to read another passage of scripture that I believe depicts your loved ones perfectly. And it's taken from the Old Testament book of Proverbs 31. A capable wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She is like the ships of the merchant. She brings her food from far away. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her happy, her husband too, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a share in the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the city gates. We are here to honor, pay tribute, and celebrate the legacy of Mrs. Joyce Shirley Rosbach, who was born in Detroit, Michigan, and grew up in Royal Oak. She was married to the late John Rosbach. They were married for 65 years, and that in itself is an accomplishment. And out of that union, seven children, 25 grandchildren, 15 great, and five great great grandchildren are here to pass on her legacy. What I was told about her is that she was a great cook who loved to bake pies, cookies, and cakes every Sunday. Chaplin loves to eat sweets, so when I thought about that, my, my, my mouth just walked. And she was very warm and loving to all the grandchildren. And she would knit blankets for each of them. And her grandchildren were the apples of her eyes. Not only that, she made sure that all the family members got cards every year for birthdays, anniversaries, and we're talking about 200 some odd people for over 30 years. And I know that will be sorely missed. So y'all need to find out who's gonna pass the mantle and send the cards now. 
but that in itself is a gift and a ministry. She also worked as, at the Secretary of State and she retired from that job. So she was a woman of many gifts and talents. And she was an avid golfer. I was just telling somebody today, Tuesdays and Thursdays are my light days and I need to get out on the driving range. So I think that she would appreciate that. But not only was she an avid, avid golfer, she won a couple of tournaments. I could have used some tips from her. And she also was a pitcher for our high school team. Loved sports, but she really loved baseball. I'm sure she would have loved to go to the Nationals uh, Stadium over there and watch our Nats play. She founded the Lioness Club and volunteered her, service, her services to many of the veterans. For that, we in the military would like to thank her for all her years of service. And, and she also started a bowling league in Rose City, Michigan to get the seniors active one who is a lover of seniors, that's a good thing. Sometimes we get up in age and we feel like we don't have anything else to offer. But Ms. Rosbach made sure that those seniors were very much active and, and allowed her to uh, do and share some love with others. So we, we honor her this day for all that she has given, knowing that she has lived a life that is truly pleasing to God. And if I may, I would like to share this poem by Mary Fry, Fry in tribute to her. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there, I do not sleep. I am in a thousand winds that blow. I am the softly falling snow. I am the gentle showers of rain. I am the fields of ripening grain. I am in the morning hush. I am in the graceful rush of beautiful birds in soft circling flight. I am the star shine of the night. I am in the flowers that bloom, I am in a quiet room. I am in the birds that sing, I am in each lovely thing. Do not stand in my grave and cry, I am not there. I do not there. We just want to say, fair winds and fireworks. For as much as it has pleased the Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister, we therefore commit her elements to the, this final resting place, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come, through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the mighty workings whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit rest rule and abide with each and every one of you, now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you.